Hello and welcome. This is Freddy Holmes from Earth. Uh, this is showing mission phase one. Uh, enter and navigate the beach using intelligent route finding. So here we're showing uh, the ROS navigation stack uh, in conjunction with our tab map to generate the 2D grid map. I've manually set a goal in the map here for the rubbish. Um, the tri track begins its journey, uh, avoiding the crab, um, as shown by the occupied space in the grid map. Um, the white box following that is the local cost map, so that is what's using for the actual movements. The global cost map, which is shown by the green line to the destination. This is showing the tri track autonomously entering and navigating the beach using intelligent route finding and avoiding the obstacles here, the crab. The occupancy map generated uh, can be done on the, on the fly, however, due to space restrictions affecting performance, uh, I've decided to previously generate the, the grid map needed for this scenario. So as you can see here, the tri track is attempting to get within the tolerances set uh, in the cost map parameters for the goal. So it's now reached that goal, it's satisfied that it's close enough, uh, here we're showing another angle. This is showing again the tri track now avoiding, uh, driving around in clearer definition here, driving around the crab to get to the goal set. Uh, the speeds of the motors have been reduced here uh, due to space requirements um, and trying not to make the tri track make any sudden movements which will make it lose its odometry. Here's another example showing the tri-track uh, autonomously navigating itself around this chair in the project room. Uh, the motor speed's at full speed here, so it can move a lot faster on larger areas. As you can see here, it will now make a turn to get in the correct orientation as set in the, in the grid map. Uh, thank you very much for watching. 